If you know, you know. Now, we all know Gennady Golovkin was overhyped when he was placed on the list of the best 25 fighters of the past 25 years. Now, if you compare how Errol Spence looked against Sean Porter last week to how Gennady Golovkin looked against Devryachenko, there is no comparison. Even though Devryachenko and Sean Porter are similar to how they fight, they both have a lot of head movement, could fight in the inside, take a lot of great angles. And Errol Spence beat Sean Porter at his own game. He showed he has more dog than Sean Porter, winning eight rounds to four in favor of Errol Spence, knocking down Sean Porter in the championship rounds as well, looking for the knockout in the 12th round. Meanwhile, Gennady Golovkin, on the other hand, he was surviving against Devryachenko in the 12th round, even though it was Devryachenko who suffered a cut in the second or third round. And he fought like a champion. He digged down deep and exposed Gennady Golovkin in the process. Now, before fighting Devryachenko, he stayed he a little scared of Devryachenko for good reasons. And tonight, he fought like he was scared. I mean, Devryachenko was looking like Mike Tyson in there. And even with the cut and getting dropped in the first round, he managed to get up and fought like a champion. He fought like he was Chavez. With head movement, with angles, he made Gennady Golovkin look silly. He exposed Gennady Golovkin. He made Gennady Golovkin look like he's 47, not 37. That being said, Gennady Golovkin got booed after the fight. The zone had Gennady Golovkin a round up. And a lot of judges had Gennady Golovkin only winning by one point. That's not even a round. That's basically giving each fighter six rounds. And the knockdown was the difference. Keep in mind, Devryachenko fought with a cut most of the night. And he exposed Gennady Golovkin in the process. And Gennady Golovkin is looking more exposed every time he fights a good fighter. Gennady Golovkin, it ain't like he fought Charlo or Andre or even a Canelo. He fought a Devryachenko that lost to Jacob in a close fight as well. I must point that out. And Devryachenko, in my opinion, the rounds that I saw, he won majority of the rounds. I was at a wedding. I only caught the fight after round three. That being said, I don't know how the first three rounds went especially the first round where he got dropped. So if Gennady Golovkin took those, ain't no telling how the fight went or how they scored it. But Gennady Golovkin got hurt to the body multiple times. And he like Keith Thurman, every time he get hit to the body, he shows it. Gennady Golovkin, it ain't no secret, he got a granite chin, but he cannot take it to the body. That's the key to knocking Gennady Golovkin out. And Devry Chenko fought the right game plan. At first, he was fighting in the outside where he was actually getting clapped. So he made the adjustment to fight in the inside and back Gennady Golovkin up, which is his forte, and that's what he does best. So I believe the Verchenko style is Gennady Golovkin kryptonite almost. And even though Gennady Golovkin landed a lot of nice punches, Verchenko took with no problem. Obviously, the power is the last thing that leaves you, but Gennady Golovkin is not the fastest fighter in the world. He's very slow. He throws punches almost in slow motion. So Devryachenko was slipping a lot of that. And even with the cut eye, he managed to go 12 rounds and winning the rounds that I saw in my opinion. So like I said, guys, I got to watch the fight again. I will tell y'all how I felt on who won the fight truly in split decision. My boxing debate show was will be dropped Monday noon. I will host it tomorrow. That being said, be on the lookout for that. And Gennady Golovkin, promoter, and Gennady Golovkin himself was on the lookout for each other by not putting Golovkin in the ring with a Charlo or an Andre. For good reasons, because Charlo will knock out the version that I saw of Gennady Golovkin. I don't, I don't even think Gennady Golovkin slowed down that much. I just think he fighting fighters that he should have been fighting in the past couple years. I mean... He always had the Charlo fight. He always had the Lara fight. He always had the Andre fight. He just never took these fights. He ducked Andre Ward. And now that he's fighting guys on his level, he's getting exposed. Devryachenko basically exposed him, outfought him in the inside. And Gennady Golovkin, instead of throwing power punches, he was jabbing in the inside. 
I kid you not, Gennady Golovkin is not a fighter that's going to counter while you're throwing combinations at him. He will block Deviachenko offense, and whenever Deviachenko is done punching, then he will throw punches after that. It's like taking turns. As a great fighter, you got to counter. You got to be able to make a person pay for throwing certain punches. You got to make a person pay for throwing more than one punch. However, that's not Gennady Golovkin. Because Golovkin will let you throw everything in the kitchen sink. And once you're done, then he will take his turn, try to throw his offense. So, like I said, I didn't like what I saw tonight from Gennady Golovkin. I thought he was actually going to perform better. But, as he stated... He was a little scared from the guy who beat him in the amateurs, and that's Devryachenko. And people sleep on Devryachenko. And I told y'all, I think Devryachenko will win the fight. However, he will get robbed on the scorecard. And I think that's exactly what took place. I still got to go back and watch the early rounds to really have a fair judgment. So check out my new show, Split Decision. I will discuss it there. That being said, how'd y'all have the fight scored? Did y'all give the fight to Golovkin or Devryachenko? I believe Devryachenko showed heart, character, and showed that he's the better fighter of the two. And he showed that he is Mexican style, not Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin, he over here trying to be Muhammad Ali style and Mexican style at the same time. And he's a little confused doing it. That's what Gennady Golovkin looked like he be doing inside that ring. That being said, um, Golovkin is becoming irrelevant at this point because he won't get in the ring with the best like Charlo and Andre. He only wants the money versus a Canelo fight. And Canelo don't want Gennady Golovkin to get paid off him, but if after this performance, know, I know, know Canelo nah, looking we at all know, man, Gennady Golovkin, Golovkin knocked this fool out was overhyped when he was that being placed said, on the list of the best Golovkin 25 fighters couldn't of the have past looked 25 any years. worse than he did tonight. Now, this fight shows the and proves what I've been preaching for the past couple years. He stayed a little scared of Deviachenko for good reason. Gennady Golovkin and tonight is overrated he fought like he was by old media. I mean, Deviachenko was looking like Mike Tyson in there. And, and even with a cut, that being and said, getting dropped in the first low round, trying to get smart about he managed to get up and fought about like a champion. Listen to these casual fans. He Follow fought like he was Chavez. Boxing for the with head movement, means. with Follow angles. Me he TV. made Gennady Golovkin look silly. He exposed Gennady Golovkin. He made Gennady Golovkin look like he's 47, not 37. That being said, Gennady Golovkin got booed after the fight. The zone had Gennady Golovkin round up. And a lot of judges... Had Gennady Golovkin only one.